Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms, and I'm here to answer a common question that I hear all the time on our plant masterclass is what is the difference between the Parrot Sequoia camera and the Micasense Red Edge camera? And it can be a little bit confusing because they're both red, they're both narrowband multispectral cameras, and they're both used for plants, and there's a relationship between the two companies. So Parrot makes the Sequoia camera, and they are based out of Paris in France, and they are the investor in Micasense, which makes the Red Edge camera, and they are based in Seattle, Washington. And so Parrot makes the Sequoia, Micasense makes the Red Edge. Now, what are some of the other differences between the two cameras? Well, size for one. So you can see that the Sequoia is about the size of a GoPro versus the Red Edge, which is a little bit bigger. The Sequoia weighs a little bit less at about 100 grams versus the Red Edge, which is about 180 or so, both of those including the light sensor and the GPS package in them. Now, they also have different numbers of bands. Sequoia has four bands, so red, green, red edge, and near infrared. Micasense Red Edge has a blue, an extra blue band in there. So you have red, green, blue, red edge, and near infrared. And that allows you to get an RGB composite of the different bands to create a color map. Whereas in Sequoia, you also have a fifth lens on there, which is a 16 megapixel RGB camera. And the, that camera is actually uh, available then for creating color maps. However, it is on a rolling shutter compared to the four bands which are on a global shutter. Similar with the Red Edge, they're on a, uh, a global shutter. So that means that with the global shutter imagery, you're getting nice crisp imagery. The rolling shutter on Sequoia, not quite as high quality as you would like it to be for color mapping. And so you're not going to get, say, the quality of a Phantom 4 Pro or some similar RGB camera or the Soda camera on uh, a Sensefly, for example. And so it's just not quite as high quality. It's okay for scouting, uh, but not really uh, great for, for you know, high quality color mapping, for example. Now both cameras produce TIFF files for their single bands, then you get a JPEG for the RGB on the Sequoia. You can also communicate with both of them through Wi-Fi. So you can use a phone or a tablet and you can log directly into the cameras to trigger them or set the triggering pattern based on time or distance if you're using the external GPS. And so that's a great feature of both of, the, of these particular cameras when you're out there mapping plants. Now another difference between the two is power. So the Sequoia is a bit of a power hog. You need five volts, but 2.4 amps to trigger it reliably. That means you can't just use a standard two amp or one amp battery pack to plug it into. Uh, you really need direct power out of the drone, direct from the battery, and then step it down using a BEC, for example. Or use one of the integrated solutions like the Parrot Disco or Bluegrass or maybe the Sensefly EBSQ. The new Red Edge M, however, has much wider power uh, constraints. And so now you can use direct power out from, say, a USB, or you can integrate it directly into the drone, into the battery. And so for most applications that you don't have to use a BEC, for example, or a power regulator to power the camera and trigger it reliably. And you can look at the integration guides for both cameras to really figure out those specs. One of the other differences is price. So the Sequoia runs around 3,500 US dollars with some academic discounts. The available if you apply, so Parrot has their own education page, you can go to that page and look for the discounts. Red Edge is more like 4,900 US, so a little bit more expensive. And you, there are some academic pricing available uh, around a 5% discount or so if you contact Micasense directly. Next, let's talk about processing options. So there's a range of processing options available for both cameras. However, for Sequoia, you're primarily going to use Pix4D. Parrot also, it was an early investor in Pix4D and now outright has acquired Pix4D. Uh, and then you can also push to uh, Agrobotics or Aronov or some of these other cloud platforms if you have a good internet connection. With Micasense Red Edge, you can also use Pix4D, and there's a direct one-button push now to the Micasense Atlas platform. That's a cloud platform for visualization. For both platforms, you can use Pix4D's cloud platform as well for processing. However, Micasense recently updated, and this is big news for the academic community or the R&D community, is they've opened up their images so with a GitHub site so you can calibrate the imagery yourself using a Python script. 
What this does, this GitHub site will explain it in a more detail than I do here, but it allows you to push the red edge imagery to other options. So you can use Agis Soft Photo Scan, you can use Envy, you can push it to some other op open source photogrammetry engines. You can also do single image NDVI, for example, or you can do batch processing or some custom image analysis. This might be good for using machine learning, for example, uh, or doing plant counting down the way if you're, if you're really uh, developing around multispectral imagery. So that's great news for the academic or the research community. For those of you that are just out there flying drones, it's probably not as big of, a, uh, of an innovation there, but it does set the two cameras apart. Now, one question I get all the time is which camera do I prefer? And the answer is really, well, it depends on your application. If you're just out there scouting and trying to get some basic data layers, I think that Paris Sequoia is a fine camera and it saves you a little bit of money. If you're out there and you're doing your PhD in remote sensing, if you're doing heavy R&D for your company surrounding vegetation mapping, uh, or you're an agency or something trying to get uh, very custom data layers, then I think that you're going to need to go for the red edge uh, there's some also differences in off-the-shelf integrations. You do have other drones that will carry the Sequoia, such as Parrot's drones or Sensefly's drones, whereas you're going to have to integrate this Red Edge onto a different platform. Uh, for example, the M100 by DJI. So those are some examples uh, of the differences and the similarities between the cameras. Again, Parrot makes the Sequoia, Micasense makes the Red Edge. However, they are related in terms of the same family of companies, but there are slight differences between the two cameras. Uh, and so hopefully that addressed some of your questions. If you have more questions, go to scholarfarms.com. We have a whole master class for plant mapping with drones and come check it out. It's a commercial class. It will prepare you for everything that you need to know in order to get up to speed mapping professionally. My name's Greg and I'll talk to you later.